Hey everyone, this is Tyler here. It is Sunday, it's a beautiful day here in Tallinn. And I want to tell everyone a quick story. I lived in South America in Chile for two years. This was in 2013 and 14. And during this time I made frequent trips to Argentina. I was living in Viña del Mar. Mendoza, Argentina is very close to Chile. Many may know this, it's just across the Andes mountain range and you are very close to Mendoza. This is a very famous region of Argentina for its wine and it's, it's a very beautiful place to visit. I took six or seven different trips here and one of the main reasons I went here often was I had to do a visa run. At this time I was on a tourist visa and I would get 90 days in Chile and then I'd have to leave and then come back. This is how I did it. Now typically I, I would stay in a hostel because I didn't have a lot of money. I was still a student and hostels were very cheap in Argentina. I, I had to make this very budget friendly and I, I would stay at one hostel in particular. It was really cheap and I, I had it, it was an amazing time. Mendoza is so beautiful and I had one incident though where I really had a bad bad trip and that's when I had a laptop computer stolen here. This happened about 2014 and this was probably my fifth or sixth trip there and I was staying at this hostel. I, it was like my third time there. I typically brought my laptop computer everywhere I went because I would have work to do for my university courses and I need, needed to have it with me. When I arrived at this hostel, this was in about August or September of 2014. It, it was a very beautiful day and I simply wanted to check in, drop off my stuff and go out. I was very careless at this time with my possessions, much more so than now. I had just gotten or received a $2,000 computer from my parents. It, it was a gift when they had came to visit just a few months before, and or it was about six months before. And I was very rushed when I got to the hostel. I made the huge erroneous mistake though of not putting my stuff in a locker, my possessions. And I don't know what I thought, perhaps I, I thought that everything was safe. I didn't have a private room or anything. And I just put my computer, it, it was simply in a lobby area. I went out, I, I was going to go out for like an hour and then come back because my room wasn't quite ready. I left this computer on a couch in the hostel. In this lobby area, it was quite a few people coming in and out, but not quite as many as a hotel would have. There were a lot of cleaning and other workers also coming through here. And I, so I went out and when I came back, I noticed immediately that my computer was not there. So I proceeded and checked around the hostel. I, I looked everywhere and I, I just could not find it. I talked to the owner, I talked to staff and to see if they located it. I even went into some of the rooms, private bedrooms of people that work there, the staff, to see if it was in there and it was not. And it was then that I realized I would not be seeing this computer again. And anyone that knows anything about Argentina, if you have an item like this stolen, you will not see it again. If you report it to the police, they won't do much of anything. It's an unfortunate thing in a country where the average income is like four or $500 a month. This is just the reality. I, I checked around, I asked other people that stayed there and no, none of these people had seen it. There was a, a group of four from Israel that was staying there that I, was not sure if they were involved with this because at this time this was the only group that was at the hostel and because this was low season this was right after the winter time that southern hemisphere and there just weren't a lot of people here so i thought it was either one of them or some staff member that had been through there the next day i did the same i checked through I asked if anything had been reported and nothing. At this point I was very frantic and I continued looking around to see if, if it was anywhere. If I had put it somewhere or lost it or whatever and I couldn't find it. I, I actually did end up reporting it to the police but 
they of course did not find it either and i accepted that the item was most likely stolen it was very unfortunate it was very difficult because i needed a computer at that time for my courses and th this was a, a huge obstacle but it was a great learning experience for me that i had to watch my possessions better. I had been losing many things at this time. I've been losing credit cards and even money and other things of mine, electronics. And this was the last final straw. And I was like, I cannot lose these items anymore. It also made me realize that in these hostels, people can seem very trustworthy, but often they're not. You don't know these people. You've never seen them. You don't know what they're up to. Hostels obviously are for is for budget friendly travel so some of these people may have budget problems there's also people that stay in hostels that are essentially homeless or they're staying there for short-term accommodations because they're out on their luck there's all kinds of situations and that's why anytime you go to a hostel or this kind of accommodation always put your stuff in a locker locked up or just don't bring it at all that's probably the best thing give me your feedback below thank you